What's going on everybody? Welcome to another preview. We have finally made it to the final of Wimbledon. Novak Djokovic, Roger Federer playing in the final. We've just seen some epic matches in the semi-final yesterday. Tomorrow the final is coming up. Let's jump straight into the road to the final for Novak Djokovic to start with. Alright, so as you can see, we have got the road to the final for Novak Djokovic. Defending champion, 2018 last year, beat Anderson in the final. First round against Coltrane was actually pretty dangerous. But he put uh, Kolschreiber away. Kolschreiber had a win against Djokovic this year. Uh, but obviously Djokovic got uh, got the better of him here. Uh, he beat Kudler in the second round. Pretty easy there. And then her catch was actually a really interesting match. As you can see, 7-5, seven, 6-7. Seven, first two sets split. One and one could have easily been too loved to the uh, to the young Polish player, but Djokovic gets the job done in the third and fourth. Uh, then Humbert he beats him really easily in the fourth round, and then Goffarm was a bit of a shock. I thought Goffarm would actually put up more of a fight, but Djokovic absolutely destroyed him. And then the final, uh, the semi final against Batista Agut, that was a really interesting match. Uh, Djokovic looked awesome in the first set, dominated the first set. Second set went the way of the Spanish player. Uh, very interesting to see how Djokovic reacted. He wasn't looking happy. He looked very upset. He was upset with the crowd. Uh, we all know that Djokovic doesn't really like it when the crowd are not cheering for him. Uh, he's the world number one, so sometimes he gets a little bit upset. And it seemed like the crowd were getting on his nerves uh, because they were clearly going for the underdog in this one. Uh, then Djokovic wins the third set, and he easily puts... Uh, Batista are good in the, uh, in the fourth set. Puts him away. Gets to the final against Roger Federer. Let's go check out Roger Federer's run to the final. Uh, he won this back in 2017 against Marin Cilic. So we're watching the two, uh, the last two years uh, winners playing each other, which is really, really fun to see. Uh, lost the first set in the first round, which was a massive shock. But then, as you can see, uh, dominated after that. Third round pretty easily as well, uh, beating Clark in that one. Uh, then against Puy, there was a little bit of... A little bit of a struggle there for Federer. Didn't play very well in that match. A lot of errors, uh, but he got through anyway. Uh, then against Berrettini, that was a danger match, but he clearly got through winning that one in uh, less than an hour and a half. One of the fastest matches uh, on the men's side in a grand slam uh, in the fourth round. So that was huge for Federer against a really dangerous player. Uh, then he played Nishikori, which actually was a surprise. I thought Nishikori uh, might not put up as much of a fight as he did. It was very close in that third and fourth set. Nishikori had chances, uh, but Federer en ends up getting through the semifinal. Finals, and then that we got to see the epic one against Nadal. We all watched that on this channel. Uh, it was absolutely awesome. First set could have gone either way. Federer had chances before the tie break. Nadal had chances before the tie break. Uh, but in the tie break, of Federer dominated. Uh, then the second set, Nadal absolutely wiped him off the court. 6-1. And all of a sudden, after an hour's play, we're at one set all. Third set, back and forth, back and forth. Very close. Federer gets through in the end. Uh, could have easily, I think he was up 3-1, and Nadal had chances to break back. Huge turning point in that match. And then in the fourth set, 6-4 in the fourth, had to have five match points to finally serve it out against Rafa. All right, let's look at their head-to-head, -head because this is a huge rivalry. I mean, we talk about Nadal versus... Uh, Nadal versus Federer, these guys have played more. 25 wins to Djokovic, 22 wins for Federer. So super close as well. Only three wins in it. Uh, but it all depends on the last couple of matches. So as you can see, Djokovic has won their last three matches. And before that, he's won a bunch of those as well. I don't think Federer has won uh, for a while. And he hasn't beaten Djokovic in a major, uh, in a major final for a long, long, long time. We'll go through that in a second too. Last time they played was at the Paris Masters end of last year. Really fun match to watch. We actually watched that on this channel at the end of last year when we first started doing these live shows. Tiebreaker in the third, uh, but Djokovic looked dominant the whole way through, uh, as you can see there when we get down to the keys to the match. Uh, he beat, he also beat Federer in the uh, Cincinnati Masters last year in the final, 6-4, 6-4. And then in the Australian Open 2016, Djokovic wins that one as well. So as you can see, keys to the match. Last time they played in the Paris Masters, Djokovic didn't win a break point. He had 12 of them. He didn't win any of them. That's crazy. To see that Djokovic still won the match, that's why I thought Djokovic was so dominant in that match compared to Federer. And as you can see, last time they played, Federer only converted one out of the two break points, which was how he got the second set in that match. Very interesting to see that one. Uh, last round, so last round for Djokovic against uh, Batista Agut. Five out of eight. So converted really well on the break points against a really tricky opponent. And then as you see against uh, Nadal, Federer only converted two out of ten. Uh, but for some reason, Federer always struggles against Nadal when he gets break points. He doesn't always convert every break point he gets. So he's going to have to do that against Djokovic. A couple of extra little added stats. Uh, last time that Federer has beaten Djokovic at Wimbledon was back in 2012. Uh, it was in the semifinals, and he got through. Uh, at Wimbledon, their head-to-head -head record is actually 2-1 in favor of Djokovic. Uh, that includes the two finals they've played over the last uh, five years or so. And then the last time that Federer actually beat Djokovic in a major final 
In the final of one of the Grand Slams, US Open, Australian Open, Wimbledon, Roland Garros, was back in 2007 at the US Open, just before Djokovic started becoming Djokovic. It was, before, it was his first major final for Djokovic, and Federer obviously was back in his, uh, in his prime. That was the peak of his powers, where he was dominating everything. Uh, that's the last time he won. The head-to-head -head in uh, Grand Slam finals or major finals is actually 3-1 in favor of uh, Djokovic. So Federer is going to have to do something he's, he hasn't done for a long, long time if he's going to lift this trophy. All right, so let's have a little bit of a talk about what I think is going to happen. So I did think Djokovic was going to get through in four sets, which he did against uh, uh, Batista Agut. Uh, and I thought that maybe Rafa would actually beat Federer, but Federer to my surprise, played uh, out of his skin. He was so aggressive. That was the best thing I saw about Federer is that he was super aggressive, and that's how he got the points. He's going to have to do the exact same against Djokovic, and he's going to have to hope that Djokovic plays a little bit upset like he was against um, Patricia Agut. And Djokovic has got to expect the crowd's going to be on Federer's, Federer's side here. The crowd love Federer. He's the you know eight-time champion. They want him to lift another trophy. And as long as Djokovic doesn't take it personally and he doesn't let it get to him, he should win this one. Uh, so my pick to win in this one is going to be Novak Djokovic. I'd love to see Federer lift the trophy. I think everyone who is a neutral fan would love to see Federer do it again. But I think if you're going to put your money on it, you've got to pick Djokovic. Uh, I picked him from the start. I mean, he just, after the Roland Garros semifinal lost a team, he just looked like he's on a mission to win this one. Uh, he's going after that Federer record. And if Federer gets this one, I mean, he gets another uh, Grand Slam ahead of those two guys behind him, Nadal and Djokovic. So that makes it a little bit trickier for them to actually take his record. So this is a huge match. In the in, probably in, for the legacy of uh, Roger Federer, which uh, which is kind of crazy to say, but if Federer wins this match, it might cement him as the greatest of all time, and maybe one too many to get for uh, both Nole and for Rafa. So big match coming up. We're going to be doing it live on this channel as we always do. We've been doing it for uh, such a long time over the clay court and grass court seasons. Make sure you come along to it. Uh, we'll be doing it tomorrow on the, uh, I don't know what time it is, but you can just check out on the channel. If you're subscribed, you get a notification. Uh, don't forget to like the video as well, and I'll see you guys in the live shows.